Oops. Hey, <laughs> I cannot hear you. Very good. Hi, hi, Charlie. Hello, guys. Good night. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Fernando. How are you doing? Hi. Very good. Now that's nice to hear that. Fernando, how are you? Hi, teacher. Happy, teacher. You're happy, right? That's yeah. nice. Why are you happy? Uh, I'm not going to to work tomorrow. Yay! Yeah. That's great. That's a really good news, actually. Yeah, teacher. That's nice. I'm so happy for you. I've been almost two weeks without going to work, and to be honest, <laughs> it's not easy to stay home. But I have to, at least physically, yeah. right? Physically, I'm not yeah, there. Teacher. But <laughs> home. Yeah, I, but I re I'm really happy that you are not going to work. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go to see you Monday. Yeah, until Monday. Yeah, teacher. Ah, okay, but at least you're going to stay um, from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? Okay. Yes. Because uh, tomorrow they will take people in the quarantine to the hotel. To the hotel <gasps> Agape. Really? Yes. Oh, no. So you better stay at home. Yes. Definitely. Very dangerous. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes. But I'm so yes. happy that you're here because I want to see you on Monday as well. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't comb my hair today. I, mean, I apologize. <laughs> Javier, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Hello. Hello. I'm so happy to have you here. And my Mr. Gabriel, it's been a pleasure to have you back, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'm having Jenny Fernando How are Javier. You? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? Uh, fine. Good. You're good? Yeah, yes. you look really relaxed. <laughs> yeah. Today is, is more relaxed today. Ah, that's amazing. It's more relaxed. That's <laughs> yeah. really nice to hear. Also, Fernando. And also, Javier. Javier. Ah, uh, every time that I see you, you're in a hamaca. That's not possible. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's, it's really nice. I know. It is the perfect, the perfect bed for me, to be honest with you. All righty. I have five people here. I have Fernando, Gabriel, uh, Jenny, and Javier. What happened with Charlie? Charlie was here. No idea? No. no. Idea. What happened? Hi, Charlie. Charlie was supposed to be here. He was the first one, actually, that was here. All righty. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to ask him where he is. Because I want him to be back. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it, his internet was not working good, so maybe he's like, log out and logging back. That could be the reason. Hey, guys. That means that all of you will stay at home from today until Monday, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, guys, pretend that we don't have this day off, obligatory day off. And let me ask you something. Would you like to, to go to the beach with me? <laughs> what a big girl. Would you like to? I can. That would be nice, right? Yes, I would. Oh, no, I would not. Nice idea. <laughs> nice idea, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Okay, I knew it, Jenny. I knew it. I knew it. Don't worry. We're going to have a, a girl's Good afternoon. Idea. Good idea, right? <laughs> Hopefully, I can see you yes. Uh, yes. A person in person one day, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Right now, I can see you just through the internet. Okay, oh, Claudita is joining us right now. Also, Mr. Ernesto. There you go. Hi. Hi, Claudie. All righty. Oh, what happened with Charlie? Okay, I have Fernando, Ernesto, Claudie, Rocky, Jenny, Javier, and Gabriel. Okay. I don't know. Guys, I was asking, uh, Ernesto was asking uh, Gabriel, Javier, Fernando, and Jenny, that if, would you like to go to the beach with me? 
Yeah. <laughs> yes, I would, it's right? Idea. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. Okay, guys. Today, we're going to learn a really, really nice topic. Actually, we're going to learn one of the model verbs that we have. We have a lot of model verbs. But this one in particular, we use when somebody asks for invitation, and you are agree with that, like you. Right now, you agree to go with me to the beach. Thank you so much. <laughs> and sometimes when you don't like to go to the beach and you, or you refuse the invitation, you also use it as well. There's many ways to use it. But right now, we're going to double check that model verb, how to use it when, we're, uh, when somebody asks us to an invitation and we agree to go or we don't. That's what we're going to learn today. But today, guys, we're going to learn it in a different way. Actually, we're going to develop two skills today. The listening and the reading, okay? okay. This is really, really important. Okay. And then we're going to practice together because <clears throat> you had to, like, invite each other to go to a specific place, right? Right now in the imagination, right? Because we cannot display it physically, right? There you go. So let me start. Um, I'm going to play an audio for you. That's where we're going to start with uh, developing the listening skill. And after that, I'm going to play the audio and at the same time you will be able to see what you are basically listening, okay? So we're going to develop that. And then after that, we're going to practice that speaking. Got it? Oh, but before I go so far, but you know what? Oh, yes, Dianita's here. Okay. <laughs> Dianita, you were the one who asked me how to say, um, what's, what was the idiom? I do not remember. In the Spanish? <laughs> oh, de la guamanza, right? Yeah. Me <laughs> Is that correct? Okay. Actually... You know what? I was double checking also with my friends, with my sister, with the sister's friends, etc. Because basically, there's no as uh, a word translated literally for that. But there are some expressions that is like almost close to that meaning. And in English, we call idioms. Okay, like colloquial phrases, like the ones that you said, for example, in Spanish, "perro que ladra no muerde." The love ones of Libra Medios, mm -hmm. right? Etc. A macho regalado no se le busca lado. You see? Those are mm -hmm. idioms, right? But in English, that one basically it will be something like this. Um, I have it here. All right. Depends, right? You can say it he or she. Depends who you're talking about, right? But let's pretend that he, because I think it was <coughs> uh, about Charlie, right? <laughs> okay, let's say he. You can say it. he or she was a wolf in a sheep's clothing. That's how you said a wolf. Oh, that's an animal in a sheep. In a sheep clothing. Yeah, that means that a wolf. Do not pretend to be that animal, but he used like the customs. Usa un disfraz. Mm -hmm. Un lobito usa un disfraz de chip, que es oveja, me para parecer alguien inocente. Pero en realidad es un lobo. Okay? Es como aparentar ser una cosa que no eres. Es decir, un lobo vestido de oveja. Exactly. 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 So, prácticamente es eso. Es la, es, es, la, uh -huh, es como el sinónimo más cerca en inglés para lo que Dianita estabas viendo la vez pasada. Pero una traducción así, literal, okay. no hay. Porque prácticamente okay. son, son um, modismos mm. nuestros, latinos. Okay. Right? But the meaning is something like that. Por lo menos, cuando tú le dices eso a un americano, eso es lo que va a entender. Okay. Que por ejemplo, ah, y este, pre, este, hmm, se ve tranquilín, pero, hmm, o sea, serio, este chamaco, o este chamaca, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. I answer your question? Do I answer your question? Yes or no? No. I didn't answer your question? 
¿No te respondí tu pregunta? Ah, yes, sí, yes, yes. Ah, oh, well, like, what? My God. The... And then my boss will say, you're fire, girl. You're fire. Yes, no, yes, I'm yes, just yes. teasing. All right, very good job. Okay, guys, so today we're going to start. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Janita. <laughs> we're going to start with the conversation, actually. Please pay attention, guys. Okay, let me search right now for that. I pay attention because I want you to develop your listening skill. Okay, after that, I'm going to play it and also you will be able to see it. But I want you to pay attention to this um, video. And if for some reason there's like uh, not well listening, let me know, okay? Let me just one moment. Mm -hmm, let me share it. There you go. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me just one moment. Let me put some sticky note here. Okay, cool. Yeah. There you go. Okay. There was a mosquito over there. Sorry. <laughs> Let me know as soon as you're able to see my screen, okay? Are you able to see it? Yeah, I can. Yay. Okay, yes, do me a favor. Ha, ah, because you're not able to see that yet. Okay. Listen carefully. Okay, cool. Soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. All right. One more time. In this lesson. One more time. Yes, please. All right. Yes. But now, guys, you will be able to see it and at the same time listening, okay? So allow me just one moment. There you go. And let me play the audio for you. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. All right. All right, guys. How was it? Was it good? Was it hard? A little bit? Okay, guys. Let me focus right now on this because today we're going to talk about a model verb that it means would. 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 That's a model verb. Okay? Es un verbo modular. ¿Ok? Que lo necesitamos para poder expresarnos. Okay. Es como un verbo auxiliar de un verbo principal. Something like that. ¿Ok? En este caso, would, eso es un verbo que lo vamos a utilizar when we are inviting somebody to go to a specific place or to do something with us. And they can accept the invitation or they can refuse the invitation. Guys, pay attention because that you will use it when you want to invite a girl to go, go out for a dinner, yes, <laughs> or your wife to go to the cinema or to go to the park. And girls, pay attention because you can use it to accept the invitation or you can say, you know what? No, Gabriel, I wouldn't <laughs> like to go with you. Bye-bye, sir. Okay, you see? So you can accept the invitation or you can refuse it. Okay, so that's what we're going to double check right now. So pay attention with me. But before I go so far, 
tell me something, guys. Uh, if there's anything uh, in particular that you would like to double check any vocabulary before we go so far? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Any vocabulary, any word that is new, brand new for you? Are you sure? Algún vocabulario que sea nuevo para ustedes? Meat. Meat? Meat. M -E -T? Meat. Podemos encontrarnos. Encontrar, okay. mm -hmm. Moran, right? Yeah. I knew it. I, I already know your voice. <laughs> All right. Very good job. What else? Dianita, I want to see you, America, and Miss Ingrid. Hi, Charlie. Yeah. Not teacher. Right. Is that correct? Yeah. Everything is correct? What Dance about... Is, what? Is love to el I con el D. I ah. love to... We're going to see that in a moment. Hold your horses. Ah, that's another idiom. Hold your, hold your horses. That means don't go too far. Oh, como se dice en buen salvareño, sereno. Teacher. Teacher. I'm here. <laughs> Yay, hello. hello. Hey, hey, student, what happened? So, teacher. Hi. Okay, guys. What? I don't understand your question, Claudia. Eh, la palabra sounds. Ah, bear with me. Let me go back. Let me go back and I will let you know. There you go. Bear with me for a moment. There you go. We'll be there. Where is it, Claudita? This that sounds great. Ah, that sounds great. Eso se, eh, eso se escucha excelente. That sounds great. O, o si usted quiere decir en buen salvadoreño, chévere. Oh. All right. And gate, gate, ¿se acuerda que usted ha ido, o usted ha ido al aeropuerto alguna vez? Yes. Y dice, tan, 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 TAC International announced the destination of the flight coming from San Francisco. Please all passengers all aboard from the gate number five. ¿Sí? ¿Qué quiere decir puerta? Le voy a decir lo que, lo que yo escucho. Ok. <risa> yo sé, porque así se escucha en el aeropuerto, en la llamada. Pero te lo recomiendo. Gate es puerta. Pero puerta, puerta de abordaje a un lugar. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, con el aeropuerto, depende del destino y depende del de avión que tú vayas a tomar y la aerolínea, hay diferentes puertas, ¿no es cierto? Yes. o entradas, eso se llaman gates por ejemplo, oh. en este, pero más que todo son puertas de acceso a lugares específicos esto es un estadio oh, yeah. gate mm -hmm. exactly. okay. yeah? very good okay. you're, you're welcome Thank you, teacher. you're welcome, any other word? that sound fine mm, sounds no fine es eso es, that sound great no, eso sería sound diferente great. en el sentido de que se escucha bien is it that's gone great? Se escucha genial. That depends. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Mr. Moran. Anything else? <laughs> no? no? Okay, cool. Okay, guys. Today, as I told you, we're going to double check would when you're asking or inviting somebody to go to a specific place with you, and you can just accept it or you can refuse it. Okay, but it would be in like a polite way, we can say that. So do not make the feel the other person bad, okay? Okay, guys, girls, pay attention, okay? Because we need to refuse the invitation of the guys in a polite way. Tenemos que evitar la invitación de los chicos de una manera así, bien femenina, bien cortés. ¿Les parece, chicas? Okay. <laughs> pay attention, girls. No, I'm just kidding. Pero sí, no vamos a usar. <laughs> 
Muy bien. Veamos la primera pregunta. Would you like to go? ¿Te gustaría ir? Would you like to go? Usted dice, thanks. I love to. Me encantaría. Mire, I've loved to. I've loved to. ¿Se acuerdan que aquí está? Este que apóstrofe de es para contracción del would. En forma afirmativa. Cuando usted haya contractado, usted no le va a decir, I would love to. No, porque no está el would completo, está la contracción. So you gotta pronounce it in a contraction way. So say, I've loved to. Yes, sir. Pero eso solo es para cuando le preguntan utilizando el would. Sí, utilizando el would. Exactly. Ahorita estamos viendo solo would. Para make an invitation, accept invitation or refute this invitation. That's it. El would se puede usar para otras cosas, pero en este caso me estoy enfocando en eso. How to refuse or accept an invitation. ¿Ok? Cool. Ok, en este caso es algo positivo. ¿Ven que también utilizamos la WH question, guys? Yeah. We do, yes. right? What time does it turn? Ok. A uh, eight. That sounds great. Uh, vamos a ver otra. Mm, I would like to. Ok. Yes. Go ahead. What time does el does solo es un auxiliar nada más? En este caso está haciendo el adverb de auxiliar. Lo que vimos ayer. The simple uh, present with WH question using do or does. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Acuérdate que es el does es el auxiliar. Porque estamos hablando de it. Okay. ¿Y qué y sustituye el it? El soccer match. Porque estamos hablando del juego de pelota. ¿Sí? Yeah, yeah. Ok. Y el verbo principal sería start. Very good. All ready. Are you guys ready to practice? Yeah. First, yes. Sorry, who's going to be the first group? Okay, let's practice together and then we're going to practice, okay? In pairs. Is that good? Okay, cool. Okay, repeat after me. I have tickets. I have, I have, I have tickets. tickets. I have tickets to the soccer match. I have, I have, I have tickets, tickets to the soccer, soccer match. match. I have tickets to the soccer match. Okay, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. I have to go to the soccer match on Friday night. night. Very good. Would you like to go? Would you, Would you like to go? go? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Alex, te voy a hacer esa pregunta directamente a ti. Tú me la contestas, ¿ok? I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? Very good. Excellent job. Not too bad. I continue. At eight, everybody. At eight. At eight. At eight. At eight. At eight. That sounds great. That sounds, that great. sounds great. 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 So, do you want to have a dinner at six? So, do so, you want to you have, want to have dinner, dinner, dinner at six? six? Very good. Uh, I'd love to. Mm, I'd like to. Oh, I'd like, 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 like to. I'd to. I'd like to. But I have to work late. But I have, I have to work too late. late. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's, oh, okay. that's okay. It's okay. Let's just meet at the starting before the match. Let's just meet, meet at the starting before the match. Before the match. The match. Again. Let's just meet Again. at the starting before the match. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. match. Ok. Así como Claudita escuchó al principio. Let's do it together. Let's just meet. Let's just meet. At the stadium. At the stadium. Before the match. Before the match. Let's just meet at the stadium. Let's just meet at the stadium. Just Before the match. The Before the match. Okay, let's put it everything together. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Let's. Let's. Let's just meet. Let's just meet. Vean una cosa. Que está meat de carne, como el que come el tiger. 
Y está meet de encontrarse. Meet. ¿Ven que está ahí con meet. doble E? La pronunciación es un poquitito más larga. Meet. 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 Exactly. Meet. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Let's just meet, just meet at the stadium before the match. Mm -hmm. At the stadium before the match. Very good. Around 7.30. Around 7.30. Alrededor de las 7.30, ¿ok? Ok, let's meet at the gate. Ok, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. That sounds fine. fine. See you there. Fine. See you there. Te veo allá, o te veo allí, ¿no? So, ok, fine. who's going to start? Fine. Are you guys ready? Fine. Sounds fine? Sure. Sounds great? I'm ready. Yes. Yeah? Are you ready to yes. rock and roll, Cody? That's the spirit. Ready. That's the spirit. I am ready. All right, cool. So, uh, who's going to start? It? Who's going to be the big team? I'm sorry. Who's going to start? Uh, Mr. Moran, could you please be so kind to be Dave? And I know that Cloudy has a lot of energy today. So, Cloudy, you're going to be the same. Okay, one, two, three, go. Go ahead. I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Mm -hmm. Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At 8. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Okay, let's to meet at the stadium before the match around 7 30 <laughs> 30 okay let's meet at the gate that sounds fine see you there very good excellent job very good <clears throat> only one thing the second question what time does it start Claudita De una vez. What time does it start? Dile. What time? What time does it start? Very good. Very good job. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. Mr. Moran, I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd like to. I'd like to. Yo sé que en el I'd like, like to. I'd like to. Después creo que usted o alguien más me va a hacer una pregunta de cómo distinguir un verbo del otro. Ya vamos a ver. Ya estoy preparada para esas preguntas. Don't worry about it. Okay, next victim. Sorry, next participants. Uh, what about Charlie and Jenny? Go ahead. Okay. okay. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. I love to. What? Ooh. Time to start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Mm -mm. Ooh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7 area. But, 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 okay. Eight. Let's meet at the gate. That's so fine. I see you there. Okay. What, that's the attitude, Jenny. That sounds <laughs> fine. See you there. All right. Okay, but this one is a little bit difficult, right? Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Yes. Don't worry, don't yes. worry. You you will get used to it with the practice, okay? And the last but not least, uh, Javier. I do really appreciate your participation. <clears throat> I know who's going to be my next uh, day. participant. Day. Participant. Edith. Okay. <laughs> ah, you knew, right? You know what is coming. All right. Go ahead, guys. Start, please. One, two, three, go. Okay. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight o at eight o'clock. That sounds good. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Mm, I like. To. 
but I have a word to play. Great skill oh. here. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7 30. Continue, Dave. Okay, let me <laughs> at the gate. That sounds fine. See you, see you there. Very good. And good and good boys at this. <laughs> That's so sexy, boys. I like it. Very good job. <laughs> okay, you. guys, but what time does it start? Everybody said at 8 o'clock. Okay, there's no o'clock there. No me metan que algo que no está allí. At 8. Okay. Y ya. Eight. Se supone que los juegos son a okay. en la noche, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> está bien si quieren decirlo clock para remarcarlo, pero no me lo metan ahí ahorita porque no está ahí. <laughs> But that's okay. Very good job. Okay, guys. So, let me show you something else. Let me show the structure, okay? Today we're going to learn wood. Can you see it? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the formula basically for the question. We got wood. Okay, of course, then we have the subject, obviously. We have the verb plus two plus another verb. And here we have the example. Do you remember that it was one of the questions? Actually, the first one, right? Would you like to go out on Friday? ¿Te gusta salir el viernes? Mira, would. Estamos el sujeto. El verbo, que en este caso sería like. Después sería to. Y otro verbo principal. Would like to go, would like to have, would you like to drink, etc. Este, este va a cambiar. Pero este no. Ni este. El verbo que va a cambiar va a ir después del to. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, Moran, would you like to, to have dinner with me? Buena pregunta. Eh, Ernesto, would you like to watch the movie with me? A Gabriel, would you like to study English with me? Mm -hmm. You better. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> Ingrid, would you like to um, stay at home with me, for example? Okay, you see? If you notice, the one that changes is this one, the verb after two. But this one, no. And we have the possible answers. Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd really like to go. There's many ways to answer. Would, contraction way. Y otra forma para expresar lo que usted se siente. Por ejemplo, a mí me gusta, me encantaría. A me fascinaría. Yeah, I would love to. El, ¿Por qué es el modo verb? Porque el modo verb por sí mismo no significa nada. Tiene que ir acompañado de otro verbo para que haya un significado. Por eso se llama modo verb. ¿Sí? Ok. Question. Pero se fijan que esta contracción del would se parece también a otro verbo. ¿A qué verbo me estoy refiriendo? Mm. Morán, don't, wor don't fall asleep. <laughs> Maybe have. Ajá. El pasado de have. Had. Yeah. Yeah. Teacher, pues, entonces yo cómo voy a saber que estamos hablando de would y no de have. Bueno, ve el verbo que sigue a la par. Uh -huh. Cuando yo ocupo el have o had, es porque estoy hablando de algo que no lo vamos a ver todavía, lo vamos a ver más adelante, pero se los adelanto desde hoy. Se llama present perfect or past perfect. Va a ir el verbo have o had en este caso porque es el pasado de have. Y el que va a la par es el, pres, es el pasado participio de un verbo. Entonces, en este caso, si un verbo regular terminaría en de. Si yo digo I loved to, si aquí hay un de acá a la par del e, significa que es el verbo en pasado participio y por lo tanto estamos hablando de had, no de would. ¿Sí? Hasta ahí me voy a quedar. No más, porque si no, se les va a estallar el cerebro como que fuera Patricio Estrella and that's not possible. ¿Ok? Pero solo por aclarar, porque yo sabía que alguien por ahí me iba a preguntar que empiece con M. O con G de gatito. Ok. Very good job. O con C de casa. 
I don't know. Okay, guys. So you see, we have it. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I like to. Miren, ese, en la primera columna, si ustedes se fijan, es para cuando alguien te pregunta algo, te hace una invitación y tú la aceptas. ¿Te fijas en esto? Pero la segunda columna es cuando alguien te invita y tú no aceptas. Pero tú lo haces de una manera más polite, más educada. Por ejemplo, I like to, but I have to work late. Me gustaría, pero fíjate que tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. ¿Sí? I like to, but I need to save money. Me gustaría, pero fíjate que me tengo que ahorrar alguna plata. I like to, me gustaría, but I want to visit my parents. Pero fíjate que te quiero ir a ver a mis papás. Ok. Yeah. Yeah. Es como, yes, sir. To answer. To um, answer. To uh -huh. answer negative, I will not lie. Excuse me? To answer negative, para sí. responder negativo, I will not lie. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like. Sí, exactamente, para like. lo negativo. Pero aquí estamos por el momento viendo el word para utilizarlo de forma que usted refuse an invitation. Okay. De una forma polite. Y si usted se fija, aquí está la contracción. I'd es el sinónimo de I would. Would you like to practice? Okay, let me ask you one of these questions and I want one of you to answer in a different way, okay? But you're going to answer just the same question. But we're going to practice only to answer if you accept the invitation, okay? Let me ask you, uh, Javier, would you like to go out on Friday? Uh, yes, I would. Very good, thank you. Uh, Ernesto, would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I love to dance. Ay, pero por favor, de una manera más happy. Yes, I love to thanks. Yes. Que lo estoy... Ok. <laughs> Very good. Que lo estoy invitando. Tenga que ser privilegiado, por favor. Thank All right. You. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> um, Mr. Uh, Gabriel, would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I really like to go. Oh, bye. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I'm coming with the opposite way, right? <clears throat> Moran, would you like to go to the soccer match? I would like to, but I have to work late. Te sale muy bien, eh? Very good. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Charlie, would you like to go out to the soccer match? I like to, but I need to save money. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's a big light. Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, Alex, would you like to go to soccer match? Uh, uh, I just entered. I don't know what to do in right now. Ah, okay. Don't worry. Let me continue asking the other the other participant. Then you will know. Okay, don't worry about it. Um, Americo, you. would you like to go to soccer match? I like to, but I want to visit my parents. I, that's not true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> now it's going to be with between you guys. Um, Danny, can you please ask yes. one of the two questions that we have here, either go out on Friday or like to go to soccer match eh, to somebody in, in, in your group? Puedes pre puedes preguntarle cualquiera de los dos a cualquiera de tus compañeros ahorita en el grupo y cualquiera de ellos te, y te va a contestar ya sea positivo o negativo, ¿te parece? Ok. Um, Selecciona quien quieras. Mr. Moran. I knew it. <risa> Vamos a ver. A ver qué te dice. Eh? Mm. Cualquiera de las dos. Would you like to go out on Friday or would you like to go to the soccer match? Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Moran, would you like to go out on Friday? I'd like to, but it's quarantine. I know. I knew it. I knew it. You're going to be so mad. I'm, come on, Moran. <laughs> Right. He. Yeah, I, I knew it. Mm -hmm. I knew they were going to answer in a negative way. They're going to refuse the invitation. All right. That's your song. You're so bad. 
But that's great. I like I it. I like to. Yeah, I know. But, mm -hmm. Ay, qué barbaridad. Para pretextos es bueno, right? Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, okay, Edith. Thank you, Moran. Could you please be so kind to ask any all of the questions to any other guys, please? Ay, ¿a quién le pregunto? A cualquiera, los dos ya moran, ya no. Eh, ¿Quién está? No sé. Javier. Mm -hmm. yes. Ay, no, 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 ¿qué más va? Ok. ¿Would you like to go out of, on Friday? Ok, a real. Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay, thank you. That's a gentleman. Very good job. <laughs> All righty. Um, okay, Claudita. Now it's your yeah. turn. You can ask somebody else. Um, like Gabriel. Gabriel again? No, Gabriel is not going to no. participate anymore. Uh, no way. No, 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 no. Ernesto. After is Javier. Oh, Javier. Oh. Okay, Javier. Okay. Javier? My turn. No, my turn. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Javier, would you like to go to soccer match? Uh, I like to. It's my parent. Okay, do you repeat the, the answer, please, Javier? I I like to, but I want to visit with my parents. Ah, okay. Uh, come on. Okay, that's mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Okay. No, no, no. Let me let me let me say that. Yes. Uh, Edith asked to Javier. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. N no, no ask me. No to Gabriel. Okay, I'm sorry. That was a bad communication. I apologize okay. for that. Okay, it will not happen again. Okay, uh, now guys, it's time for you. Okay, guys, you have, I will, sh I will leave the slide right now. And you wow. have a sample, wow. right? Of how you formulate a question. Okay, guys, I, I'm going to just ask only the guys right now this exercise. I will give you one minute. Just the boys. That means Moran, Ernesto, Javier, Fernando, Gabriel, Americo, and Charlie. Okay? To think about one question. One question that you would like to ask to one of the girls. Okay? But please, be polite. Esa es la única que yo no la una regla. Sean corteses. Be polite. One question, guys. Así como el que estamos viendo ahorita. Un minuto les doy. There you go. Y las chicas la van a responder, ya sea afirmativamente o negativamente. ¿Les parece, chicas? Yes. Ok. Ok. Hoy es hora de la venganza, chicas. <risa> Tienen un minuto nada más. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Hi, teacher, you're mean. Yes, I know. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Uh, sorry. All right, volunteers. Thank you so much, Enrico. Go ahead. What? what? Yes, you. You can ask the question to any of the girls. 
Okay. Let's Yan pretend, okay? guys, that you would like to uh, invite a girl to go with you to somebody else, to, to any place. Go ahead, Jenny. Okay, yeah, listen. Yeah. Listen carefully. Okay, Americo, go ahead. Uh, Jenny, would you like to go... Uh, would you like to go uh, play basketball this Saturday? Okay. I like to, but I have play soccer play. <laughs> oh, so she okay. prefers soccer than basketball. Sorry, America. Okay. Aunque mi respuesta hubiese sido, I don't like basketball. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> sí, pero es una, uh -huh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Good job, girl. All righty. Okay, it's your turn, Moran. Go ahead. Would you like to eat with pizza with me in the next time? In the next tacaño, month? <laughs> ¿Qué tacaño? Come on. <laughs> to who? A quién? Uh, Jenny. No, come on. Only with Jenny? Pick another girl. Come on. <laughs> Jenny, you have bewitched him. Was that such a shadow? He's killer. Oh, what okay. is the question? Repeat, please, Moran. Would you like to eat with me pizza in the next month? Oh, next month? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Um, Don't think uh, too much, Jenny. Straight ahead to the answer, please. <laughs> yes. Yes, what? Like Thanks. Yes, uh, you, you, you love to? Yes. Okay. Very good, Moran. You have one opportunity. <laughs> Hi. Okay. It's time for you, Gabriel. Go ahead, Gabriel. Okay, uh, to Diana. Finally, okay, very good. <laughs> Leave Jenny alone. <laughs> Diana, would you like to go to the beach this Sunday? I like to, but I want to stay in my home right now. <laughs> yeah, give you those, huh, girl? Blast <laughs> on your face. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> very okay, good. No problem. Next time. Oh, you see? He's a gentleman. He's not going to give up. Next time. Okay, very good. Uh, Javier, go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, David. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Edith, would you like to go to the park to study uh -huh. this with me? Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> that, that's my student. That's my student. Yeah. I like to, but I have to study English. Oh, 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 oh. so that means I'm not going to help you to study. I can study alone myself. What? Okay. Very good job. Mr. Ernesto, go ahead. Ernesto, I cannot hear you, Ernesto. Ernesto, go ahead. Hello. Hello. I don't know. Claudita. <laughs> Claudia. Ah, okay. Right. Queda? Hi, Claudia. Queda? <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, Ingrid. Claudita. Okay. Would you like to go all with me on the beach? Oh. Yes. I really like to go. I really like to go. Okay, uh, use use wood. Use wood, Claudita, please. And need your cell phone. I okay. Come on. Very good job. Okay, Fernando, it's your turn. You need to ask okay. to Ingrid. Go ahead. Ingrid. Okay. Uh, would you like to have coffee with me? Oh, that's a romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I like to uh, I have husband. What? <laughs> Can you repeat that that answer, please, Ingrid? Come on. <laughs> I like to would I have a uh, husband. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Fernando. Shame on you. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, you see? You see? So that's, guys, we have practice right now. Yes, Moran, <laughs> you, you, you have a red face that you cannot imagine, right? <laughs> Thanks, God, I didn't ask the question to Ingrid. Thanks, God. <laughs> All righty, you see? So that's how we use wood, guys. Would you like to ask somebody invitation? And that is how you can refuse it or you can accept it. For example, we, we here, guys, we have when you accept it. That is the structure. We got the subject, we got would, we got the verb, we got to, we got the verb, and we got the complement. Like an example, I would like to go to her new house. You see? That's an example. And this is the way that you refuse it. I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. But... I need to stay home, but I have to a lot of work to do, etc. Right? So it depends. I would love to go, and I would like to go. Cuando tú quieres ya sea aceptar o no refutar, puedes utilizar el love to y el like to. Okay? Very good. Cuando tú ocupas el love y el like, siempre va a ir un to. Se no puede decir I love go. I love to go. I like go. I like to go. Es un verbo que siempre va a llevar la preposición to all the time. Okay? Y entre love to y like to es como me gustaría un montón o me gustaría, pero. Me, mm -hmm. Ambos es me gustaría, pero. Pero el primero sería lo amaría. Okay. Amaría ir contigo. Okay. Pero. Yeah. Yeah. O me, es como decir me fascinaría. Es como el auto es como más ganas de. Y el like uh -huh. to. Sí, está bueno. Vamos, pero. Ok, right? Uh -huh. That depends. Is that yeah. clear? Ok. okay. Yeah. Any question, guys? So far, is it good? Sí. Good. Good. All right. So now, guys, we have practiced the speaking skill, the listening skill, and now we're going to practice the reading skill. Ok. Oh. Alrighty, there you go. I'm going to share once right now my screen with you. Let me just one moment. Let me go back. Oh, that little baby. Who's the little baby there? It's my son. Oh, Javier, is your son? Yeah. Oh. How old is him? ¿Cuántos años tiene? One year old. Oh, that's why. It's a little baby boy. Yay. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's practice reading. And in this, guys, we're going to practice one of the re reading skills that is called scanning, okay? So that's what we're going to practice right now. Just bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Can you see it, guys? Yes. 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 Okay. So do me a favor. Who's going to, today, guys, we're going to learn some information or biography about one of the pop stars music nowadays, which is called Christina Aguilera. For some of you that you like it because you like pop music, for some of you do not like it, but it's really nice. Well, we're going to choose this topic just to also um, develop that reading skill, okay? Okay, guys, who can help me reading? Ernesto, you wanna try? <clears throat> Could you please start, please? Yes, please. The first paragraph, if you don't mind. So far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all age around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of, the, uh, of her generation. She is... Christina Aguilera. Very good, continue. Highlights of Christina life and story. Highlights, highlights sería como los momentos cumbres de ella en su vida y en su carrera. Okay, Moran, can you please continue reading the timeline of 1980? Timeline 1980, Christina is born on December 18th in New York. Okay. In 1980, uh, 1988. Okay, yes. 
Christina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Okay, uh, first appears. Appears. Mm -hmm. Christina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Very good, continue. 1992, Christina is on TV in, in Disney. Disney? Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Very good. In 1994. Wait, wait, wait. All your horses. Ah, ya va con todo este moral. Very good. Excellent. In 1992. 1992. Four. No, no, no. Almost. 1992. Dilo. 1992. Very good. Christina is on TV in Disney's. Christina is on TV in Disney's. New Mickey Mouse Club. New Mickey Mouse Club. With? With? Britney Spears. Britney Spears. And Justin Timberlake. And Justin Timberlake. Very good. Continue. 1994. Mm -hmm. Christina, Chris, Christina record All I Wanna Do with Keisu Nakanishi, oh. a Japanese pop star. Very she good. Japan. Uh, she tours Japan. All she right. Tours Very Japan. Very good job. Continue. Let me double check. Um, 1998. Uh -huh. Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. 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 Hey, Mulan, yeah. <laughs> Do you like the Mulan show? No? No. Yes. Have you seen it? No? No, you have not yes. seen that movie. Come on. I like it. You like it? Yes. Oh, me too. That was a really nice one. All right. Very good job. Okay, guys. So now let me ask you some questions, okay? Before we go so far. Very good. Let's, pre let's practice some vocabulary first. Uh, repeat after me. Highlights. 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 Of Christina's. Of Christina's. Of Christina's. Life and career. Life and career. Very good. Repeat for me the years, okay? 1980. 1980. 1988. 1988, 1992, 1994, 1994, 1994, 1994, 1994, 1994, on, on television. television. Television talent show. Television, television talent show. show. Okay. Disney's. 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 New Mickey Mouse Club. New, New Mickey, Mouse Mouse Club. Club. Mickey Mouse Club. Mickey Mouse Club. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Mouse Club. 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 Very good. Christina's records. Mm -hmm. Christina. Records or records? No, records. ¿Por qué records. Porque records es que graba. Okay? Very good. All right. All right, guys. Very good. So, let me continue sharing right now the screen with you. Now, I'm going to, we're going to practice right now the scanning. Okay, that means that in a quick view, I just want you to answer specific questions that I have for this particular um, singer, okay? But before we go so far, any vocabulary that you want to double check right now? So far. Excuse me? So far, hace mucho. So far. As so far, exactly. Very good. Any other question? Any other vocabulary, guys? No? No. Are you sure? Yes. 
Yes. Okay, tell me something. Hey, let me ask you a specific question, okay? And, and I want the first one who answers me as quickly as possible. Let me ask you this question. She records a song for Disney music? Do you remember the article, guys? ¿Se recuerdan del artículo? Le voy a hacer una pregunta a ver si quién me la contesta. She records a song for Disney music. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Which was it? ¿Cuál fue? Mulan. Uh, Mulan. Mulan. Very good job. Otra pregunta. She travels around Japan. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Does she work with the Britney Spears? Yes. 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 What? Yes. yes. She. She works. Works. She does. Yes. Okay. Yes, she, does. she is on television for the first time? Yes. Yes. All righty. Yes, she does. She does. Uh, another question. Uh, does she win a Grammy for Beautiful? No. Okay. No, no one. Doesn't. Okay. Definitely. And the last one. Does she sing at the Winter Olympic Games? Yes or no? No. No, no what? Okay, very good job. So you see, guys, it's really easy, right? It was easy. And it was a short article, okay? Yes. I know that you have a memory. What happened here? Because reading is not just read and read. You need to understand what you're reading. And at the same time, remember what you have read. Why I have done that right now with you? This is the first time, guys, that I ask you a question. And I do not let you double check the article. ¿Se han fijado en eso? Que es la primera vez que les hago preguntas sin dejarlos ver el artículo. Why? Yes. Ven que siempre les dejo ver el artículo y le hago preguntas. Pero hoy fue al revés. Why? ¿Por qué hice eso? Porque cuando ustedes vayan haciendo eh, los exámenes, ustedes no van a tener tiempo de volver otra vez al artículo. A ver, ¿dónde estaba la respuesta? ¿En qué parte? You just have to remember what you have read. Tienes que entenderlo y a la vez acordarte. ¿Ok? Y en base a lo que te recuerdas, you need to answer. Uh -huh. Por eso, ven, vamos, así vamos a ir haciendo exercises. A veces lo puedo dejar ver, a veces no. Y entre más estemos avanzando, los artículos van a ir haciendo de temas más difíciles. ¿Ok? Okay. okay. Because it's easy, like to talk about singer, to talk about music, to talk about museum. Pero qué les parece si les traigo un artículo, por ejemplo, de economy. the economy, pollution, pollution, exactly. The geography. Yeah? yeah, that's really tough. Porque son artículos yeah. y son um, um, vocabulary más rebuscado. Más specific, right? Pero vamos a ir viendo en las otras semanas o en el otro módulo. Vamos a ir desarrollando otras skills que tienen que ver con listening. Les voy a enseñar incluso cómo ustedes, cuando, a veces que vamos a leer un artículo y no vamos a, a entender todas las palabras del artículo. Porque no somos astronautas, no somos abogados, no somos ingenieros químicos, etcétera, etcétera. Pero cómo hacer para yo entender qué significa esa palabra, aunque yo no entienda el significado, no sepa el, el significado directo de esa palabra. ¿Cómo, es, cómo poder ver eso en un, en un artículo? Eso se lo voy a enseñar. Okay. ¿Ya? Yeah? You see? So reading no es solo reading. Reading es un skill que hay que desarrollar. Okay. Sí, ¿Pero va a ser con nosotros? I don't know, sweetie. <risa> no lo sé miren que la vez pasada me dijeron que me habían pedido y me habían solicitado mucho which I really appreciate that I'm popular la queremos. thank you so much I love you too but it doesn't depend on me but for me yes I would I would love to stay with you guys okay. pero a, a ver qué dicen verdad we still have one week entonces la otra semana vamos con todo 
we can vote for you? <laughs> I don't know. You can do it. <laughs> but I don't know. Well, Moran, I have Moran also in the last model, right, sir? Also Ernesto, right? Ingrid as well. Yes. Moran, please. This is the time that you speak. Don't be silent. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All right. No, no, I'm not teasing you. Ah, perdón. Pregúntenle a Morán que se la hago segunda vez que estoy con él. ¿Verdad? Ah, yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you like to continue studying English with me, Morán? Yeah, sure. Come on. <laughs> Esa risa no te la creo. Come on. But please. Yeah, sure. Try to answer using the model verb would, please. <laughs> Okay. Would you like to continue studying English with me, Moran? Using would? I would, I would, no, I like me. <laughs> I love me, I love to. I want, like, you yeah. Want <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. Okay, you know what? ¿Se acuerdan que había un programa que decía Save the Bell, salvado por la campana? Yes. En este caso, a Moran le aplica Save by the Bell. Because right now, <laughs> the, the class passed so fast, you cannot imagine, right? One hour went like, woohoo! Like a yes. Speedy Gonzalez, that's amazing. All righty, guys. So today we have learned a lot. We have used the model verb to ask an invitation, to accept the invitation, to refuse the invitation. And also, we have developed the listening skill the speaking skill and the reading skill okay, okay. guys okay. continue doing the, the the exams and the platform and also the mean exams and the exercises so that will help you a lot okay. any questions i'm here you can text me you can write it down and um well please study be safe stay home because i want to see you guys next week okay 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 hawks okay. And kisses. Good night. Good and see night. you. Good night, Good night, Good night Next week. Sure. Hey, have a great Next weekend, week. okay? Bye bye. You too. Thank bye. you. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.